Leave it to Beaver. Starring Mana Bozho and Antoine as the Beaver. Okay. Bonjour, mes amis. I am here to tell you the story of how the beaver lost his hair on his tail. It is an old ancient Indian legend, a story told to explain why things are the way they are. And it was told around campfires. Well, it starts long, long ago. The beaver was a very proud animal. He was very proud. His hair was the softest and the most beautiful of all the animals. He thought that he had the finest tail that ever had been made. Even the squirrels were jealous. He, <laughs> he liked nothing better than to lift his bushy tail up and show it off to the other animals. Look at me. I am so beautiful. Look at me. Well, one day, Manabozo, one of the Indian guides, came to visit the beaver's territory. Manabozo said to the beaver, You are a poor host. I am cold and you offer me no fire. The beaver said, I am sorry, but I have no fire. Manabozo replied, I know the Ojibwa have learned to make fire. Perhaps you can trade for some. So the beaver went to the Ojibwa and he asked for some fire, but they refused to trade. They wanted to keep the fire all to themselves and they would not teach the beaver how to make it. So the beaver thought, I could steal some fire and run home with it. So he said to the Ojibwa, Hey, let us at least play some games and be good friends. The beaver suggested they run a race past the campfire. When he ran close to the fire, he slipped his tail under some glowing coals. He balanced the coals on his tail and he raced towards home. And as he ran though, the beautiful fur on his tail caught fire and flared up like a torch. By the time he reached home, not a hair on the bushy tail was left, not of one. So he plunged into the river to stop the pain and put out the fire. <sniffs> Unfortunately, the tail of the proud beaver healed over, and instead of its beautiful bushiness, it had a thick, coarse hide that never had hair again. And since the foolish beaver could no longer show off his tail, he decided to live where, in the, under the water, where he cannot be seen. And now he usually only comes out at night because of his shame at his tail, which has no fur. <sighs> the end. Au revoir. I'll see you later, guys. Bye bye. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm ready. Take two of how. No. Stop. I start again, but you keep the camera rolling. Okay. <coughs> 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 I, I just, I don't think I can do that voice much longer. Look at me, I am so beautiful. Look at me. Hall, one of the Indian gods, came to visit the beaver's territory. Manabozo said to the beaver. Giggle, giggle. Giggle, giggle. <laughs> Cut, take oh. two. <laughs> Sorry. He had ever been made. And I can tell you. I messed you up. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking. Tell the Viva, take three. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I will cook all of me. Can't you see? I'm just no good without you. Take my tail, I'll never use it. Woo! Take my lips, I wanna chew it. Okay, I'm so tired from the shooting. But seriously, though, no. do you think I should shoot from this angle or this angle? Because I want to know, do you think that this makes my tail look flat? I think this makes my tail look too flat. Does my tail look flat? Seriously, do you think?